In this video, we are going to focus on the perpendicular bisector. You will find this on page 313 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Perpendicular bisector. A perpendicular bisector is a special kind of segment or line which intersects a given line at 90 degree angle and passes through the midpoint of the given line's midpoint. You learned how to construct it in earlier grades. So basically, if it's between the line A and B, it will cut this line exactly in the middle, that's what it indicates there, and it will be exactly 90 degrees. Let's look at an example. The points A and B have coordinates this, respectively. Find the equation of the perpendicular bisector AB. Write your answer. Can you remember? This is the general form. Okay, so first find the gradient of AB. Okay, AB, can you remember? Difference in Y over difference in X. And the gradient is this. But this is meaning that this gradient is negative 5 over 6. That is that gradient. But you must find this one's gradient. So if it's perpendicular, you will know that the gradient will be the reciprocal, which is 6 over 5. And the signs, if this is negative, then this will be positive. So you already have now this perpendicular, the new gradient. Okay. Then you have to find the midpoint. Can you remember? Difference, uh, not difference. Uh, you add up the x values and you divide it by 2. You add up the y values and you divide it by 2. And then you get 3 and 1. And let's just write it. 3 and 1. Now, the perpendicular lines is the gradients are reciprocal fractions with opposite signs. So, can you remember? We said that it's going to be 6 over 5. There it is. Okay, now, I'm going to start just filling in everything. So, I start with the gradient intercept, as we, it's always the best way to want to start with. So can you remember, it's going to just be y equals mx plus c. Then I fill in the gradient, and then I substitute the midpoint, 3 and 1, okay? And that's what I did there, to get the value of c. And now I just put everything back. But now I must not forget, I must take it from the y-intercept form, to the general form. So make everything fractions, make the denominators the same, take everything to one side, and then this will be your final answer. And that will be the equation of the perpendicular bisector between the points A and B. You can stop the video and do try now 16 and just do number 1. Okay, I'm just going to move this down. Otherwise, our space is not going to be enough. Okay, let's start. Uh, it's always good to have a sketch, but in this case, I don't think it's going to be so challenging. I think what we can do, we can just make, uh, I think I'm going to do it on a grid. It's always better if you make a sketch to have your values more or less. So if I say, for example, this is zero and zero, just want to see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So then this point is going to be here. Okay, so I'm just going to move it one down rather. Okay, down. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And so again at that point. And this thing is now every time going to be a problem. So let's just move it down a little bit. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then this is going to be 6, this is 0, 0. And this is going to be 6, 6. And then it's 0 and 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I have to move it still a little bit down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then this is going to be point D. So this will be D. And this will be point E. 
Okay. Now, remember, the first thing that I'm going to do, and I'm just going to combine that points. Did you see? Okay. But I want to find, don't forget, I want to find the perpendicular bisector. That one. That cuts it exactly there. It must be equal. And there is going to be, let's just make it. Okay, let's just go back. Put a, that's going to be the midpoint. Okay, now let's start with the sum. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to find right on the two points. That will be the base. So we're going to say that D is going to be 6 and 6, and E is going to be 0 and 8. And then it's going to be X1, Y1, X2, Y2, okay? And now I'm just going to find quickly the gradient. And remember the formula for the gradient, difference in Y over difference in X. And if I'm doing this, the difference in Y, so it's going to be 8 minus 6, difference in X, 0 minus 6, and that's going to be 2 over, and this is going to be negative 6, so that's going to be negative a third. Then I can already say, I think it's better to write it here, so therefore perpendicular gradient is going to be, and it's going to be 3 over 1, which is 3, I'm just going to write it, in, no, I, I prefer that you just write it as 3, just 3, and if this is a negative, this is going to be a positive, okay, then I'm going on, and I'm going to find the midpoint, now can you remember the formula? So it's just going to be, I add up the x values, not difference, I add it up. I add up the y values, and I'm just going to clean this point. I add up the y values, and I divide 2, and if I add it up, then I'm going to be, say, 6 plus 0, divide 2, and it's going to be 6 plus 8, divide 2. So that's going to be 3 and 6. Okay, this is going to be, um, if I'm looking at this, 14 divided 2 and it's going to be 7. So that's going to be my midpoint, 3 and 7. And now I can start with my equation. So if I'm going to write down my equation, start with it. First the y-intercept method, that will be the best. So it's y equals mx plus c. Then I put in the value of m. Remember, it's just 3. Make sure you take the correct one. Because, can I just show you, this blue one is negative 1 over 3, the gradient. But the red one, the gradient will be 3. And I'm looking, and this one will be my perpendicular bisector. Okay, and then I'm just going to start by doing this. Um, don't forget this is x, this is y, so it's going to be 7, and I'm going to put that 3 plus c, and I'm just going to move up a little bit, and it's going to be 7 equals, and this is going to be 9 plus c, so if I take that over, then c is going to be negative 2. So my formula is going to be, um, let's just see in what format did they ask it, no, they didn't specify a form. So if they didn't specify, I can just say, therefore, um, perpendicular bisector, and that will be y equals, remember the gradient, 3x minus 2. And that is now in my y-intercept Format. If they want it in the other one, I will just say 3x, um, um, I will say 3x minus y minus 2 equals 0. But they didn't specify, so I can leave it like this.